Another feature of Windsor chairs to be aware of if you're interested in Windsors and planning on making them is the stretcher. The stretcher systems vary from, chairs to, from chair to chair and there are a variety of them that we're going to introduce you to. By far and away the most common is the H stretcher. It is the stretcher that was used in the beginning in the 1740s when Windsors are introduced and it continues in use up to about 1800 when it's superseded by the box stretcher. It is a center stretcher with two side pieces forming the characteristic H. The variety in these stretchers is in the shape of the center stretcher. They, they can be changed from chair to chair. The X is another stretcher system, not all that common, but it was used as on this chair from the 1760s Rhode Island, Providence, Rhode Island. The X stretcher is two identical pieces with a lap joint in the middle. In the 1790s, Windsor, some Windsor chair makers used the crinoline stretcher. This was largely popular in Boston and in Salem, Massachusetts, but chair makers in other parts of the country used it as two. The main part of the stretcher is made by bending and then there are two spurs that extend off the back to connect the rear legs. Finally, the 19th century. Around 1800, the box stretcher is introduced and for the next 50 years, till the end of the uh, traditional Windsor chair making, of handmade Windsor chair making, the stretcher system that was used by chair makers was almost universally the box stretcher. Now all of these stretchers work the same way. They look different, but they function the same way in the chair. And that is because they are using round hole, round tenon, which as we know does not function well as a glue joint. All of these stretchers are pushing the legs apart. That's a universal in Windsor construction. Stretchers don't hold legs together. They push the legs apart. Both the box stretcher and the H stretcher could be used in settees. And let's look at some examples of those. Thank you for watching this content. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And check back frequently for more Windsor chair making tips and tutorials.